Napkin presentation number two is called Salesman Failure Syndrome. So one mistake that people make when building a business is they think that if they just were to start a business and go out there and talk to the whole world, they're going to have an incredibly successful business. And although they're probably going to get off to a fantastic start, it's actually not about what you can go out and do. It's actually what duplicates in this business. So how what, what we do, so going back to say helping five people, five people that want to do this business, they, they're, they're serious about this business, what you want to do is you want to help, when somebody starts the business, you want to help them start building their network. So how we duplicate, so if there's me, and uh, let's say that I've sponsored, um, let's say, uh, Suzanne into the business, and then I then work with Suzanne and help her sponsor CJ, and then me and Suzanne both work together to help CJ introduce Carol into the business, and then me, Suzanne, CJ, and Carol help Caroline get started with the business. Then what happens is this leg of my business is now duplicated. So if I was to then step away and help a new leg start, I know that this leg of the business is going to continue. I've taught Suzanne how to sponsor somebody new. Suzanne's taught CJ how to sponsor somebody new, which then means that Suzanne's taught CJ how to introduce somebody to the business. And then Suzanne then knows how to help CJ help Carol help Caroline. So you've completely duplicated them. And um, the best way to do this is by holding up your hand. So you start as number one. So when you've helped somebody to sponsor somebody to help somebody get started, that means you've duplicated. So once your leg is five, five people, you being one of them, that means you've duplicated your business. So it's not about what you can do. It's about how you can help duplicate. So you, so I need to teach Suzanne how to teach CJ how to sponsor Carol. And then she will then sponsor Caroline. What you don't want to do is salesman failure syndrome, which is this. So this is the mistake that a lot of people make. So if I, so if this was me here in the middle, was to go out and let's say I'm going to run around the town or go on social media, tell everyone how good this is, and I'm only going to focus on sponsoring people myself. If I was to go out there and um, I was to sponsor 130 people, so I'm going to sponsor 130 people, which I think is like three a day in a month or something. So let's say I sponsor 130 people and I say to them, find five people that want to do this business as well. So they go, okay. And obviously everyone knows five people. So they go, okay, yep. Yeah. So they each find five people that want to be involved with the business. That means that in our whole network, we've got 708 people, which is the same number of people if I just sponsored five and taught them how to sponsor five and help them sponsor five and help them sponsor five. The same number is 780 people. But surely it's much better to do this, to help five people, sponsor five people, sponsor five people, sponsor five people, than to personally go out there and sponsor 130 people and give them the one tip of go out and sponsor five people, goodbye, see you soon. Can you imagine how exhausted you'd be having 130 people to mentor and support and look after? And they're never going to get off the ground because... If one of these people was Suzanne, and I said, go sponsor five people. So she's like, okay. So she sponsors CJ amongst another five people. She's going to go, right, sponsored five. Now what do I do? She's like, what do I do now? Because I haven't taught her how to help CJ sponsor somebody. I haven't taught her how to help CJ sponsor Carol, sponsor Caroline. I haven't duplicated that leg. So don't be a salesman, Charlie. Don't fall into salesman syndrome because that's not how building a network works. You need to sponsor a small number of serious people. Only count the serious people in your business. You will sponsor people that just want to use consume, just want to consume products. That's fine. But just sponsor a small number of serious people and help them sponsor people and help them sponsor people and help them sponsor people. Um, rather than sponsoring 130 people, giving them the one tip of sponsoring five each and then be gone. So that is napkin presentation number two.